For all the latest from the world of motoring, hit that subscribe button and stay connected. The new Domina 400 promises to take the Domina experience to the next level and make it a more complete motorcycle. From the list of changes it has received right from the engine to the design, it surely seems to have become the motorcycle we wanted it to be back when it was launched. So is it better? Let's find out. The engine on the 2019 Domina is now revised and gets a double overhead cam setup. This has allowed it to rev faster and freely and produce more power from pretty much the same engine configuration. It now produces a commendable 40 PS of power and the way it gets delivered makes all the difference compared to before. This engine now feels much more peppy below the 4K RPM mark making it more friendlier and easier to use in urban conditions. Compared to the previous generation Domina, the new version is more than half a second faster to the 100. And when you decide to stretch its legs for some spirited riding, the precise gearbox and slipper clutch keep things engaging. Even the heat management and the refinement are better than earlier. Out on the highway, the Domina is happy to cruise at 100-120 km without seeming much stretched and enough left to go much faster without the need to downshift. The redesigned exhaust end cans also produce a much more sporty and bass-filled sound which is especially involving for the rider at higher revs. Fuel economy was around the 25-28 kmpl mark. Moving on to the handling aspect of the new Domina 400, one thing that certainly feels different is the front end. It has a more planted feel than earlier and the front suspension is now a bit stiffer. This has made it more responsive when it comes to direction changes and allows you to have a more engaging ride around winding roads. The handlebar now is also a bit higher and wider for a relaxed stance and better control. This combined with the soft and rear suspension makes the Domina 400 a much better rounded touring machine. The brakes from Bybre are the same as earlier and have the same soft initial but progressive feel and do their job very well combined with the dual channel ABS. Apart from the major changes that we have already talked about, there is also a lot of fine tuning that has been done to the new Domina 400. It now has a more functional secondary display on the tank, but interestingly Bajaj recently rolled out an update that allows the gear position to be seen on the main display as well. The mirror stocks have also been updated for a wider and better vision and they look premium and well made. The bungee attachment cords are also a great addition to the new Domina. Overall the new Domina 400 is a much well rounded package than before and is also quite well made as we already know by now. Being only marginally higher priced than its previous version it also offers a huge bang for buck. This unique placement makes it a strong contender for motorcycles in its own segment and in fact in other segments as well. Thanks for watching and do let us know what you think about the new Domina 400.